say your colleague outperforms your work, but his wife is having an affair while your marriage is stable and happy. Who has it better? The one has the, the profession that's working, and one has the uh, home life that is not. The celebrity you admire is a chronic drunk driver and a bigot. Is, he, is his life truly preferable to yours just because he's a celebrity? When the internal critic puts you down using such comparisons, here's how it operates. First, it selects a single arbitrary domain of comparison. This could be fame, money, power, appearance. Pick anything. And then it acts as if this domain is the only one that is relevant. This is what we do. We, we tunnel vision ourselves. Then it contrasts you unfavorably with someone truly stellar within that domain. So you kind of set yourself up for failure because you're, you're automatically subconsciously comparing yourself to the unfavorable domain. It can take that final step even further using the unbridgeable gap between you and its target of comparison as evidence for the fundamental injustice of life, aka the idea of nihilism. That way your motivation to do anything at all can be most effectively undermined and justified as well. Your poor performance and your unproductivity and, and, and lack of discipline can be justified by this delusion. This is a very thought-provoking thought. You have to understand how, you trap, how we trap ourselves in our minds. How do we do it? We do it by comparing ourselves unfavorably to a domain someone is excessively successful at, comparing them with our domain we are on the extreme, often opposite end that we are not successful at.